Yes, welcome back to another video. It is Anise, the Boss Lady Preneur, and today we will be looking at audience insights on Facebook for advertising. So let's get into the meat and the potatoes. So what is important about Facebook and audience insights is that a lot of businesses and people do not know how to use it correctly so what we will be looking at is how to use it correctly and how you can best utilize it to map and plan your advertising campaigns on facebook for future income within your business online so let's get it All right, so here we are. We are in Facebook's audience insights and let's take a quick tour around so as to get familiar with what you should be looking for and working with during your session on Facebook audience insights. So first of all, you need to know where you are going to target who your audience is going to be so the location is really important so here it is pre-selected the united states and of course you can change that so if you are dealing with a local business or you are running a local business and you won't want to target people within the radius of your community or within so many miles or kilometers of the business then you can do that so that is a very very great option there you can choose the age and gender in which you would like to target so perhaps it is a women's fashion store or a men's fashion store or a very specific product for one gender over the other if it is for both then you have less worries so then you have your interest area where you enter in the type of interest so whether it be women's fashion women's shoes men's shoes if it's a product for both sexes then it's even easier however the interest and the age and the gender is obviously very important when it comes to building out your campaign once you know what your interest is that you would like to target you then should enter it into the field interest field you can look at connections people connected to a specific page so it could be a page you operate or someone else operates but you can put that in there you can put people not connected to a specific page so even more detailed you can look at advanced which obviously looks at language relationship status education work market segment parents politics us mainly you can have a look at the age group of the children in which people are parenting you can look at the political views conservative moderate liberal or very liberal within the us you can look at life events so away from family where people live where they're located are they in a new relationship is that stated on facebook people give facebook a lot of information therefore you can utilize it when you want to build out a advertising campaign in your facebook manager for your business to make those extra extra dollars that you are so so needing so here we go down the new audience so when we select all of that information it will then populate over here and show us all of the different percentiles according to the gender how many people in either camp are actually interested in the area in which you've applied in the interest field then you can have a look at whether they're single, whether they're in relationships, if they're engaged. Why is this information important? Because when you go to build out your campaign, you can actually put in specific information around their education and things of that nature to help you really, really tailor the audience if you are wanting to do that. Some people like to target a very broad audience so that they can then extract information from that broad audience 
Thus, they're actually banking on data. So they are trying to extract data for future campaigns, which is absolutely fine. So it depends on which way you want to tackle it. If you already have that information at hand, well, that is wonderful. You can just plug that detail in. So we won't go any further as far as plugging in information because that would take us over into a totally different area called... Um, I forget the name right now, but I've done it myself and can't remember it right now. But you build out specific audience based on email information you have and target audiences. So anyway, now we'll move down. We have the job title. You can see the percentage of the types of jobs that people hold. So you can also select see all and you will see more information again going right down to military, protective services, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to scroll back to the top, and we will actually plug in some information so we can look at some finer detail and dive deep into what exactly audience insights can yield for us when it comes to creating those Facebook advertising campaigns for business so let's get into it okay so we're back in audience insights the tool on facebook so what we're going to do is build out a specific audience to target people who like to affiliate market and make money online so let's build this out for the usa people living in the usa the uk New Zealand and Australia so some of the top financial or income earning countries there are a few more but let's just do those four and go through a campaign and build out an audience first off for those campaigns so let's go So we select the United States first. So we can select then the United Kingdom. Australia next. And then last but not least, New Zealand. Okay, so we look at the demographics and we can see that 200 million to 250 million people are being identified by Facebook Audience Insights to be utilizing Facebook so far. So let's keep moving down. Age and gender. So as we know it, both females and males like to make money online and also both females and males like affiliate marketing so we will leave this broad and open maybe we can tailor the lower level to about 22 or even 25 but there are a lot of online entrepreneurs now that are under 20 starting out at 16 even so this could still be a wide open uh, target market so we may just leave that at 18 and we can always tailor down that information as we move through building out our campaigns and targeting audiences in the future. So let's go. So as I said, the interest would be affiliate marketing. So let's plug that in and see what comes up. So we let it self-populate, we'll click on the first option and see what that does. So demographics, jobs, work, affiliate marketing, it is still populating. So let's wait for it. It's asking for the business and the industry as far as an interest. So I click on all business and industry and see what happens next. So then it shows us that in 
New Zealand, Australia, the United Kingdom and United States that business and industry, demographics, work and job titles. We can see what their education levels are but it hasn't changed greatly so we may just have to niche it down even further. So let's put in an interest such as a Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V. Will he come up straight away? Yep, there he is, Gary Vaynerchuk. We'll put him in because he is all about that grind. Okay, that hasn't changed a lot. We can plug in another one like, ooh, let's think about this. Tony Robbins is more self-development. Hmm, another entrepreneur. I can think of maybe ClickFunnels. Does ClickFunnels come up as an interest? No. So let's look for another person. One moment and... So I have selected Russell Brunson who is the creator of ClickFunnels and taken out the industry and the business interest and it brings us down to an audience of six to seven million in all four countries so you can see 13% females in that 18 to 24 category 36% 25 to 34 category and so on and so forth you can look at the males at 19% so there's actually a greater ratio of men interested in affiliate marketing through Russell Brunson and the interest of Gary V 43 so it's larger males amount of males in the 25 to 34 category and so on less in a, the next category of 35 to 44 and less again as you go up in the age group so you could actually target from 18 through to 44 or 54 and you could actually have a really nice amount of people so that's really massive at 6 million to 7 million um, but a really great start but let's click on through and keep having a look at the information available so we can look at the page likes which is actually more important than the demographic the demographic yes it is but it gives you even more information to build out your campaign so you look at the entrepreneur sector here number one Gary V Russell Brunson Robert Kiyosaki and Rob Derdick interesting Robert Derdick is on there too he is obviously an entrepreneur but he's not the same type of entrepreneur as the others but that gives you a little bit of insight as to who you could target when building out your campaigns so you've got sports UFC, House and Beauty, Dollar Club, Shave Club. We all know that the Dollar Shave Club is a massive e-commerce brand that was built from the ground up. So a lot of entrepreneurs are interested in another entrepreneurial brand. Success Magazine. You could actually target the magazine and their buyers slash subscribers. You've got a news personality. You could check those out. Ben Shapiro and Tommy Lahren. So we go down and even the page information is even more important. You've got Richard Branson and even more and more people to check out to build out those important campaigns. Okay, so that was part one of how to use Facebook Audience Insights. If you would like to learn more, click on through to the suggested video on the right side, part two of how to use Facebook Audience Insights. However, if you are interested in affiliate marketing, go down and click on the link below to get your own affiliate marketing blueprint. If you would like to know more about Facebook, then please click on the suggested video to your right. Again, that was part one. This is your boss, Ladypreneur, signing off. Till next time, peace.